Hi, I'm Brendan Peterson with AtScale. I'm gonna walk you through today what a semantic layer is and some of the key factors why it's so important to your organization and your data teams as well as your BI and analytics journey. So to begin, let's define what is a semantic layer. This comes right from Wikipedia, as you can see, and in its simplest terms, a semantic layer is taking that data and giving it a common business term. So instead of looking at the customer table, the RMO 101 table, whatever the connotation might be, you wanna get it boiled down to having a product, a customer, revenue, opportunities, orders, a common term that you can use across organization and across different business units and have one core truth behind it. And that's what the semantic layer will give you is that it has what that is, the true representation of it for your business. So why do we have this? Um, the data market has evolved over the last several years. The first of which is your data gravity. This is the, the weight of which that the data applies to your enterprises. Over time, we've had this growth of cloud data platforms and cloud data warehouses, which are storing all of our important mission critical data. An enterprise might have one or several of these implemented depending upon how they've gone through M&A, how you've developed your, your systems themselves, where your core data has lived. To do something with that, you need to have data insights. These are tools by which you're going to represent that data sitting in your data platforms. That could be Power BI, Excel, Tableau, Looker, etc. Any of these tools that are out there to gain insights. Enterprises nowadays generally don't have just one data insight tool. They may have two, three, four. They may have several across different groups and organizations, and they allow direct access to those cloud data platforms. The risk of which is that now you might have several people with several different tools looking at the same data and carving up in different ways to tell the story that, that they need to see. It may not be the story the business needs to understand, but not having that consistent layer in betwixt insights and data is going to cause that as a problem that goes on for perpetuity. So in comes a semantic layer. Um, semantic layers have four key services that really we should think about. Uh, the data modeling, the ability to build out a semantic layer, and to do that in a way in which that is uh, cohesive with your current teams. Resource orchestration, you want this to make things faster and better, not slower and more of a headache. So you wanna make sure it has tooling in which it can make your queries, your optimizations, your aggregations happen much more easily. You have governance and metadata management. You don't want to give unfettered access to everyone in your, your orgs to that data. So you want to be able to have a layer in which it can meter out who has access to what and that you have a control mechanism of which you have people that can administer that. And then lastly, a metric store. Just a place that you can store all this insight so you have those common models that the same uh, teams can work with and other groups within the organization can leverage. I want to have a finance model. I want to have a retail model. I want to have a customer model, but I want to let my sales, marketing, ops, and finance teams use those uh, whenever they need to. So for governance, um, without having a semantic layer in between, we're going to see again what we said before, that direct access from a BI tool into the cloud data platforms. We don't have any insight. We don't have any uh, governance we can apply here because we're going to give them authentication and we're going to let them just see the data that that auth has. They might need more, they might need less, but we don't have a lot of control once they've gotten into there and started leveraging the uh, current connections. By having the semantic layer, we give you that one universal layer of truth where we can say, this is how you authenticate. Here's your published endpoints that you can connect into. So you can see exactly if I'm in sales or marketing, the same view of a customer, whether I'm in Power BI or Tableau. So we reduce that, uh, the inconsistency of having that other insight tool or having direct access to the data and carving it up however you wish. We really provide that layer of consistency using a semantic layer. We also wanna make sure that that has to be multidimensional. Uh, this is how people think in general. You look at things as what's sold in what time and over what period of, of a hierarchy of data, um, you know, what type of product are we selling. We need to be able to support that with a semantic layer as well. If we have to flatten our data out constantly, you start to lose the impact of what that data really is. The more you have to augment it, export it, and manipulate it, the less truth you're going to gain from it. So we want to make sure a semantic layer is going to give you the ability to have that multidimensional OLAP view of your data uh, in its current state and in its current data warehouse. We also want to get um, optimization. So you want to ensure that you have the right behavior in the uh, consumption, the creation, and the delivery 
of that data analytics. If you let people do whatever they will, then you're going to lose the ability to trust what the outcomes are. You want to make sure that that the analytics, that the uh, consumption is performance based on what they're using, and you don't want to have to do any kind of predefined patterns that a third party vendor decided this is what is most important. No one knows your business better than you all, so you want to make sure that you can tune that to give you the exact right outcomes that you need and not have to reconfigure how you look at your data to admit a predefined model. And then lastly, you want to do cost optimization. You want to have active metadata so that you can govern that cloud usage. You want to make sure that you are allowing yourselves to get the biggest bang for your buck with these cloud resources and leveraging tools that can help you do that very easily and with a kind of first class approach. And then lastly is security integration. This kind of goes back to governance, but it is again, you wanna have the ability to have teams who can manage how these integrations and, and optimizations work. You wanna have first class support for all your BI tools. You don't wanna to have to, again, reconfigure data to meet the needs of the outside tool. You want that outside tool to be that, that translation layer. So you wanna have the proper set of interfaces to govern that. You wanna have the right level of access to get in. You wanna use industry standard identity providers to gain access to the core tools and then use the cloud platforms on the left-hand side to be able to get whatever you need. You want automated aggregations to happen. You want those things to be built on their own and you wanna have a tool in between all that that can do all of it for you. So we go back to the key services. Again, you know, you see data modeling. You want to be able to enable your teams to do what they can with the tools that you've brought to, to them. You want to make sure that what you're bringing is going to improve your resource orchestration. You want to see query optimizations. You want to see performance throughputs. You want to make sure that you're governing that data and that you're managing it properly. And then you want to make sure you have a central location. You want to have a metric store where those models that are built can live and be housed going forward. And that's about it. So thanks for watching our video. Uh, feel free to peruse around for some other interactive demos, other tech content that we have, uh, and learn a little bit more about how AtScale can deliver that semantic layer for you and your enterprise.